in the previous lecture on interpretation of clean gordon equation you have seen that uh, there is a major difficulty in this uh, clean gordon equation that uh, the expression for the probability density gives an unphysical result in case of uh, the kg equation or you can say that when the probability density is calculated from the clean gordon equation then the result is somewhat unphysical you have seen that actually the probability density obtained from the kg equation is given by this expression rho of rt equal to e over mc square times psi star psi or in other words you can say that this is e by mc square times mod of psi square here uh, this energy e may be positive or negative so in accordance with uh, this expression for the probability density which has been uh, uh, obtained from the kg equation the probability density may be negative but uh, probability density must be finite and positive for a real physical situation so this expression is not appropriate for the probability density obtained from the kg equation so this is a this was a major difficulty in this clean gordon equation because you know when we find the probability density from the non relativistic equation of motion that is using the schrodinger time dependent equation then it is found that the probability density is simply equal to psi star psi or mod of psi square which means that the probability density must be positive and real so uh, now in this lecture our aim is to discuss the fact that how this uh, unphysical result for the probability density uh, obtained from the kg equation can be reduced into the valid expression for the probability density in case of non relativistic uh, equation of motion okay this is our aim in this lecture so there will be a lot of mathematical steps and following those steps you will see that we can find the correct expression for the probability density of, uh, obtained from the kg equation and that will actually become the expression for this probability density same as that obtained from the non relativistic uh, case okay so let us see how we can arrive at this result okay as you know the sol one of the solutions of this kg equation can be written as psi of rt equal to psi of r times e to the power minus i e t over h bar okay this is uh, one of the solutions of the clean gordon equation okay here this energy e in this expression 1 is actually the total energy in relativistic case so if we consider that e prime is the energy of the particle in a non relativistic case or you in other words you can say that this e dash is the non relativistic energy and e is the total energy then you know this total energy will be simply equal to the non relativistic energy e prime a plus mc square where this mc square is actually the rest mass energy okay so adding this rest mass energy in the non relativistic energy of the particle you get the total energy okay so now let us substitute this value of e uh in this equation 1 which is actually one of the solutions of the kg equation so let us put at the place of e 
e dashed plus m c square. So equation one now will become psi of r t equal to psi of r times e to the power minus i e prime plus m c square t over h bar. In fact, I have replaced this e by e plus m c square. And equivalently, you may write this expression as psi of r times e to the power minus i e prime t over h bar times e to the power minus i m c square t over h bar. Okay. Now let us see uh, the this part of the wave function psi of r times e to the power minus i e prime t over h bar. Since E dashed is actually the non-relativistic energy, so this uh, product psi of r times e to the power minus i e prime t over h bar, this will represent the non-relativistic wave function. So, instead of this, we write here psi prime of r t. Actually, this psi prime of r t you can see this will be actually the non-relativistic wave function. So, psi of rt is just equal to the non-relativistic wave function psi of rt uh, modulated by the factor e to the power minus mc square t over h bar. Okay. Now, this uh, non-relativistic wave function psi of rt this can also be separated into the space and time part and after separating this it, it into the space and time part you may write psi prime of rt is equal to phi of r times e to the power minus i e prime t over h bar okay here phi of r is the wave function that depends only on a space coordinate and this uh, uh, exponential factor represents the time part of the wave function. Okay. So in this way we have uh, uh, obtained the expression for the non-relativistic wave function that is psi of r prime r t. Okay. Now to get uh, the equivalence between the non-relativistic and the relativistic expression for probability density, as I have told you, there will be a lot of mathematical steps. So following all those mathematical steps, you can arrive at that result. And for this, let us uh, differentiate uh, this equation number 2, which I have defined here, partially with respect to t. You can see this uh, in this case this psi is a function of both the space coordinate r and time t but our aim is to find its uh, time derivative so we have to follow the partial differentiation so uh, let us see this uh, expression and differentiate it uh, with respect to t partially since here there is a product of two functions you can see the first one is psi prime of rt and the another factor is e to the power minus i m c square t over h bar. So following the uh, rule of differentiation of product of two function, you can easily get that derivative. So let us see here. This will be del psi by del t. Now, in RHS you have seen there is a product of two functions psi prime and e to the power minus m c square t uh, over h bar. So when we will differentiate this psi prime, this another factor will remain at each. Okay. So this is del psi prime by del t times e to the power minus i m c square t over h bar. And plus, now, now psi prime will uh, kept at each and this factor e to the power minus i m c square t over h bar will be differentiated. So when you will differentiate it, this result will be e to the power minus i m c square t over h bar and times minus i m c square over 
h bar because del t by del t will be 1. Okay. Now, you can see this factor e to the power minus m c square t over h bar is a common factor and we will take it common. So, this del psi by del t will be what? In the first term only del psi prime by del t remains and in the second term you can see uh, after taking this factor as a common factor the remaining term is minus i m c square over h bar times psi prime okay and this e to the power minus i m c square t over h bar has been taken as a common factor okay now uh, let us uh, take the complex conjugate of this equation number 2 and the equation which we have just obtained after the differentiation. So, if you want to write the complex conjugate of this equation number 2, what will be the result? At the place of psi, we will write psi star. At the place of this psi dashed, we will write psi dashed star and e to the power minus i m c square t over h bar will be now written e to the power plus i m c square t over h bar. So, you can see I have written it here that the complex conjugate of that equation 2 is psi star of r t equal to psi dashed star of r t times e to the power i m c square t over h bar. Now, let us take the complex conjugate of this equation number 4, 2 and 4. So, this L in LHS there is del psi by del t, its complex conjugate will be written del psi star by del t. And uh, inside the bracket, there is del psi prime by del t. So, this will be now del psi prime star by del t. And the second term is minus i m c square over h bar times s, uh, s psi s prime. So, this will be its complex conjugate will be plus i m c square by h bar times psi prime star. And outside of the bracket the factor is e to the power minus i m c square t over h bar and its complex conjugate will be e to the power plus i m c square m c square t not h bar this is t actually t over h bar ok. So, we have written the complex conjugate of the, the equation number 2 and equation number 6. Okay. Now, after getting this result, we will find the probability density uh, which have been obtained in case of the uh, clean Gordon equation. So, remember the result which you have obtained in the previous lecture for the probability density uh, using the kg equation. You have seen in the previous lecture that the probability density expression in kg equation is given by rho of rt equal to h bar over 2 i m c square times psi times del psi star by del t minus psi star del psi by del t. This is the expression for probability density uh, obtained by the use of kg equation and this equation we have derived in the previous lecture. So, you must remember this result and you have to write down it directly here. Okay? Now, in this uh, expression for the probability density which has been uh, written on the basis of kg equation, we will use the values uh, of different quantities. Uh, uh, which we have just written. So, you can see this rho of rt, this is h bar over 2 i m c square, this is at is. Now, at the place of this psi, uh, what will be our result you can see? Uh, this psi is, it has been defined here uh, in this equation to psi is equal to psi prime e to the power minus i m c square t over h bar. 
So, at the place of psi, we will write this expression. You can see. This is psi prime of RT times e to the power minus IMC square T over H bar. Okay. This is for uh, psi and del psi star by del T. Del psi star by del T. So, see here del psi star by del t this has been defined in this equation 6b so at the place of this del psi star del t we will write this expression which is defined in this equation 6b this is del psi star del psi prime star by del t plus i m c square by h bar times psi dash star times e to the power i m c square t this is t here uh, over h bar okay so let us put it you can see uh, this has been substituted here okay now now see the second factor term this is psi star times del psi by del t now psi star will be what you can see this is actually expression for the psi you can see this expression and you have to uh, 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 you have this is yes this is actually uh, the expression for psi star and uh, this will be equal to psi dashed a star rt and e to the power plus i m c square t over h bar you have just to write the complex conjugate of this factor okay so you can write now the second term factor is del psi by del t and uh, you have seen that this del psi by del t is what you have just seen this expression this is your del psi by del t defined in this equation 4 so from uh, here this equation 4 we will replace that del psi by del t by this expression you can see this is del psi prime by del t minus i m c square over h bar psi prime times e to the power i minus i m c square t over h bar okay now let us simplify uh, the rhs of this uh, equation to a little bit you can see here the factor e to the power minus i m c square t over h bar and this factor e to the power plus i m c square t over h bar. When these two will be multiplied the result will be e to the power 0 because powers are same but signs are opposite and that will be equal to 1. So this exponential factor is removed. Similarly, in the second term, you can also see uh, there will be a product of e to the power plus i m c square t over h bar and this e to the power minus i m c square m c square t over h bar. So, again this product will be e to the power 0 and that will equal to 1. So, this exponential factor will be removed. Okay. So, after removing these exponential factors, what is our result you can see? Here in the first factor only this psi prime of RT remains. So, you can see I have written it psi prime of RT. And uh, inside this, uh, in the second factor only this del psi star by del T plus I m c square over h bar psi dashed star remains here. Okay. Now, uh, in the next term, uh, here this psi dashed a star of RT remains and inside the bracket there is del psi prime by del T a minus I m c square uh, over H psi dashed. Okay. You can see this. We will uh, simplify it uh, some more. You can see. Uh, that uh, in this uh, expression this factor h over i h over i 
is no uh, multi uh, this factor is no uh, multiplied to the terms inside the bracket so we will multiply by this h prime by i to this del psi prime by del t and also to the second term i m c square over h bar psi star psi dash star and again we will multiply by this h prime by i to this term del psi prime by del t and minus i m c square over h times psi dash actually when we will multiply by this factor h by i then the remaining term outside of the bracket will be simply 1 over 2 mc square 1 over 2 mc square so let us see the simplification this is 1 over 2 mc square psi prime of rt and h bar over i del psi star by del t and minus again this psi prime star times h bar over i del psi star by del t and when we will multiply this factor that is uh, h prime over i sorry the page has been turned this is just a defect of my device so don't be worried this will be just okay so you can see when you will multiply by this factor h bar over i to this factor and that is uh, uh, here there is in fact uh, into i m c square uh, over h bar over h bar and psi uh, dash star psi dash star you can see this h and h bar and i will cancel out and uh, at the same time this mc square will be also cancelled by this uh, mc square in the denominator you have to actually multiply by this factor uh, 1 over 2 mc square times h bar by so after uh, multiplication by this outside factor this term which i am just underlining will just become psi dashed star and uh, in outside there is psi star so this will be just psi star times psi dashed star similarly in the second term uh, again you can see after this multiplication the term will remain psi dash star times psi star because all the multiplying factor will cancel out so uh, outside of this bracket i have written a 1 by 2 psi star psi plus 1 by 2 psi uh, da, psi dash psi star plus 1 by 2 psi dash psi dash star and uh, this now see this is 1 over 2 mc square psi dash of rt and h over i h bar over i this can be written as minus i h bar del psi dash star by del t and plus psi dash star and uh, here this h bar over i will be again minus i h bar but here there is minus sign already so this minus minus will become here plus okay and this half a half psi dash psi dash star plus half psi dash psi dash star will be now psi dash star times psi dash okay now you know from the schrodinger's time dependent equation that uh, this minus i h bar del psi dash star by del t this will be equal to e dash star psi dash star because according to schrodinger equation you know that e psi is equal to i h bar del psi by del t here actually the non relativistic energy has been written by e dash and the wave function has been written by psi dash 
सो अकॉर्डिंग टू स्रोडिंगर टाइम डिपेंडेंट इक्वेशन ई डैश साय डैश विल बी इक्वल टू आई एच बार डेल साय डैश बाय डेल टी एंड इट्स वेन यू विल टेक इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स कंजुगेट देन दिस विल बी माइनस आई एच बार डेल साय डैश स्टार बाय डेल टी सो दिस इज एक्चुअली द कॉम्प्लेक्स कंजुगेट ऑफ द स्रोडिंगर टाइम डिपेंडेंट इक्वेशन एंड दिस विल बी रिटर्न एज E dash star psi dash star. Okay, and this is just uh, I h bar del psi dash by del t. So this will be equal to E dash psi E dash psi dash. Sorry, this is psi dash. Remember. Now, as you know that this E dash is actually the eigen value of the Hamiltonian operator. and you know the hamiltonian operator is a hermitian operator and the hermitian operator have has actually the real eigen values so this e dash and e dash star since uh, e dash is the eigen value of the hermitian operator uh, that is hamiltonian hermitian operator and so this e dash and e dash star will be same so E dash star is also written as E dash. So both of these two terms are same, and this will be simply equal to two E dash by two M C square times psi dash star times psi dash. Okay, and plus this outside term psi dash star times psi dash. Okay. Now this two and this two will cancel out, and your result is e dash by m c square times psi dash the star times psi dash plus psi dash the star times psi dash. Okay. Now you can see this m c square is the rest mass energy, and e dash is the uh, non-relativistic energy. Now. as in case of non relativistic motion the energy is very small and so this e dash will be much smaller than mc square so when you will put use the condition that this e dash is much smaller than mc square this first term can be just neglected in comparison to the second term so after neglecting this first term uh, what will be the result the result will be rho of rt equal to simply psi dash star times psi dash and so this is psi mod of psi dash square as you know this psi dash is actually the non relativistic wave function and uh, as you know that in case of non relativistic uh, equation a uh, dynamical equation the probability density is simply equal to the square of the modulus of wave function so the result is now same as that in case of the non relativistic case okay so you have seen uh, by uh, in this condition that uh, that the probability density expression which have been obtained from the clean gordon equation just reduces to its uh, non relativistic equivalent which is actually a valid expression when we consider that the non relativistic energy is much smaller than the rest mass energy of the particle so in this way you can say that uh, the probability density in case of the clean gordon equation can be reduced into the correct non relativistic expression for probability density when we consider that the, the non relativistic energy is much smaller than the rest mass energy i think you have understand each and every step clearly and uh, and definitely you have enjoyed this lecture in fact in the next lecture on this uh, clean gordon equation we will see some more interesting concepts and i hope you will enjoy those uh, videos too